Now to the latest in the battle against COVID-19 in less than 24 hours from now, new COVID data for Ohio will be released and experts expect case numbers to jump. Here's a look at how case numbers have gone up week to week in May alone. Before you think, here we go again, we should note the Ohio Department of Health says this increase is a bit different. 10 TV's Lindsay Mills spent the day talking to members of our team of experts to find out exactly why, Lindsay. Andrew, the experts say it really comes down to two things, vaccines and the treatment options we now have available, preventing severe illness, hospitalization and death. Even before you test positive, they say it's a good idea to have a plan know where to find a test if you develop symptoms and ask your doctor if you could benefit from those treatment options. We actually have better therapies than we had two years ago. Those treatment options, monoclonal antibodies and Paxlovid. They are really for anybody, regardless of their vaccination status, who has a high risk condition. Here in Ohio, there are two types of monoclonal antibodies. These are medically manufactured antibodies given to help our immune system in its effort to fight off viruses. Bevtilavimab is administered through a single IV infusion lasting approximately 30 seconds. Evusheld, on the other hand, is a protective antibody, meaning it's intended to prevent disease among vulnerable people with severely compromised immune systems before they're ever exposed to COVID-19. Paxlovid comes in pill form and must be initiated five days of symptom onset. Therapeutic treatments are not one size fits all. Determining which is best for you is up to you and your provider. The benefits of monoclonal antibody is that it's a one-time injection, right? If you get an IV line, you get an infusion and you're done. Paxlovid, the thing that we do worry about it is that, yes, it is a pill, you can take it at home, but it has a component in it called ritonavir, which can cause a lot of drug-drug interactions. And for patients who may be pregnant or maybe breastfeeding, we don't have a lot of data on it. To know where you can access a test or learn more about those treatment options, there's a new section on the Ohio Department of Health's website, coronavirus.ohio.gov. And experts say these treatment options do not replace getting vaccinated or the need for additional doses.